excited to visit and try the newly renovated Sarsa Kitchen Bar. So it is formerly known as Sarsa Negrense Bistro. Nagsara sila for a while dahil pala nagre-renovate sila. The place itself sobrang bago as in sobrang kakaiba na siya to the highest level yung pagbabago niya. So we're here for the reopening and at the same time I miss their food so let's go. Selling a cocktails now. They have cocktails, wines, and beers, and uh, you know the different kinds of juices now for those non-alcoholic drinkers. So yeah, according to them, meron silang binawas sa menu nila at uh, dinagdag. the first one that we will be trying which is the pancit molo picture pa lang nakakatakam na my gosh look at that this is a good start of our dinner They call this one the three-way seasoning because it is cooked in three ways. Ayan. 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 Very presentable yung um, sizzling nila. So, as you can see. Ayan. So beautiful. Ayan. So this is not the usual um, sisig that you have uh, tried in uh, many restaurants. Kasi yung sisig nila dito, <laughs> parang medyo smoky yung lasa. The meat is tender, the skin is a very crunchy and it's easy to eat. Ulang na lang beer. We will try this one. Sizzling Kansi. So do you look at that? Oh la la. Bone marrow guys. This is beef. Sizzling Kansi. Ayan, pang kanin siya. Saka pang pulutan. One of my favorite that we always ask to order. Special din nila to. Since yung may-ari nito is um, from Bacolod. Masarap pang kanin to. This meat is not dry. So, hindi siya mahirap iswallow. Magdan pa rin yung pagiging ano niya. Uh, juicy. So, intact yung kanyang uh, juiciness ng meat niya. Ito yung perfect na inasal ever. <laughs> so, this one, they call it tortang talong. I've tried this before, but I missed it. Ayan. So... They put the meat, the crab meat, on the top. So you will know that there's really crab in it. Mm. The taste of the tortang talo, the eggplant, the egg, and the crab, and the chili. For me, it's still there. So this one is there. Pinakbet, ayan. When you say pinakbet, it has to have bagoong. So, pero yung bagoong nila, they mix it with dilis. Mm. 
So, their pinakbet is different level, ha? Sa pinakbet, usually, nalalata yung ano, ah. The, the vegetables are, like, overcooked. But this one is different. Everything here is half-cooked. Yung sauce siya very creamy. I don't know kung paano nila ginawa yun. Um, lutong bahay, pero to the highest level. And now, this one, we will try the... Lumpia. Their lumpia is pork and shrimp lumpia. They have two kinds of sauce for their lumpia. This is the pineapple sauce. The other one is cinnamon. So, ayan. For sure, the pineapple must have the twist of the sweetness. Yung kanila, pineapple with chili something. Maasim na matamis na maanghang. Mmm! So they are to use it for dip as a dipping sauce. Bagay na bagay. So the other one is cinnamon. This one talaga yung gusto ng mga Pinoy. Um, parang suka lang siya. Pero merong siya spiced vinegar siya. So, but I like them both. I like to use them both. Para hindi boring yung life. Mm, very good. Ang so busog na. Guys, we just finished our dinner here. So, masaya, masaya lang ako kasi sobrang busog ko. This place, the Sarsa Kitchen Bar, is um, ano, is is on a different level when it comes to Filipino food. Ano nila pagkain nila dito sobrang sarap, kakaiba. They really have their own taste. Pero pinoy na pinoy pa rin yung dating. And the price somehow affordable. Sana mabisita nyo tong lugar na to and try to visit this place and try their food and um, let me know, comment down below pag na-try nyo tong lugar na to or kung may mga queries kayo na please don't forget to support my channel and please like and subscribe and um, hit the notification bell for you to be updated for more upcoming videos. And that's it for today. See you again on another travel show. Bye-bye. <laughs>